Hi there, this is Tim, Head of Training at Pencil, coming to you with a feature focus video on our new upgraded brand library feature. So getting your brand library right is really important for giving Pencil's AI models all of the information they need about your brand to really tailor your outputs to your look and feel and tone. I've just gone to our brand library and I've got an empty one here but you can see there's a number of different categories to be populated and over to the right hand side for each category there's an option to add new. Within each of these areas, that's an empty one, within each of these areas we have different types that can be populated. We can do this manually here or we can auto populate some of the information there's two ways that we can do that. We can do that from a URL from a website, or we can populate the detail from your PDF brand book, either Google Drive or a file upload. I've got my brand guidelines here. You can see they include a number of different written and image elements, including colors, logos, fonts, everything you could want. Once I've uploaded that, you can see the upload progress in the bottom right corner. And then we will have a progress pane at the top of the page to show us how far the system has got with extracting brand information from the brand book. I've sped this up a little bit. It does take a while to process, but is still a huge time saver relative to doing this all manually. It's gone in, so now we can have a look at the information in my brand library. It won't necessarily capture everything. You will still have to go through check and upload manually, but I've got a huge amount of information in that knowledge section. We've also got our tone, which includes examples, rules and keywords, both positive keywords and negative keywords. It's brought in some logos. I definitely need to add some more logos manually on this. You can add your fonts and I will need to go in and do this manually. That's just an upload of the font file. We can include brand colors and the system feeds from that a lot in Generation of Creatives and particular brand elements if you have any common visuals that you want to include in multiple ads. Style references can be provided either as written descriptors or as image reference files. You can upload approved sounds, including music and this can now act as a repository for your documentation. You can also build skins using the elements that we have just uploaded or just entered into the brand library. And this will serve as a basis for some of the visuals of creatives generated. I'm not going to do this in detail now. I'm not going to spend time designing, but you can just see what's available to select, including being able to select images as backgrounds or creating gradients as your default backgrounds for your brand skins. So that is the brand library. Like I say, it's really important to get it up and perfected to get the most out of Pencil. For any further information about the system, any further setup, we have a whole host of resources, both videos and how-to guides, so please do take a look. Thank you.